So guys, it's a cold one out here today, but it's perfect for testing this thing out. This is Toro's brand new battery powered snowblower. Now this is kind of a big deal. A year ago, they sent me a prototype of this and I was dying to show it to you guys, but unfortunately it got smashed in shipping. So this is my first chance to see if this thing really works. Now back then I lived in Mass, so we didn't really get a ton of snow, but here in New Hampshire, things are really different. Instead of going through all the specs and showing you everything up front, let's just see if it blows some snow and make sure it works. And then we'll go back and I'll take you through all the details of the machine. Our heated grips are on. That's our auger. The noise level of this machine is unbelievable. I mean, I've run gas machines for years and I'm talking in just a slightly higher tone. Now this is just a few inches of snow but when you're snow blowing on grass, uh, first off, it's not too bright and it's not ideal conditions at all. And that is a really good result. Okay, so this part of my yard gets a ton of snow. I think it's a good foot in here. It's icy, it's probably frozen. I'm just gonna see what this thing can do. I think there is a foot of snow. This is all ice, there's no way it's gonna get under it. But we've got about six inches on the side and it dips down a little bit more. This is icy snow, this is not good stuff. Now that's a huge, that's a huge bit of ice in front there. I don't think it'll go through it. Wow, what do you do? <laughs> that's pretty good. Last test I'm going to do is there's a concrete kind of skirt here in front of the garage doors. I never got around to shoveling this out. I'm going to run the machine, clear this bit out. Now I'm running this right now at a higher speed and it's definitely bogging down a little bit. Sorry Kubota. But it's moving right along. You know, the other thing I didn't think about is when you're using this unit, it's a bit lighter. So I find it a little bit easier to move around. I'm slow. I'm actually moving too fast. I can't control it so well. You kind of forget that it is a battery snowblower, except for the noise. It drives just like a regular one. Yeah, this is definitely, uh, that's good. This thing is powered by batteries, right? Lithium ion batteries. And it's got this compartment where it can actually take three batteries, but only two are required to run the machine. Now they give you two with it. So that's all I'm gonna use for this test. These are the same 60 volt batteries they use in the other equipment. They've got built-in battery gauges. I charge these up fully, so everything should be good to go. And putting them in the machine is pretty simple. You just lift this lid and they both lock into place. And again, if you buy that third one later, you've got an extra compartment, but that isn't required. The machine is not fully electric. Now there's no gas or oil inside the machine down here in the transmission, the linkages, those things are still mechanical. Some electric vehicles are beginning to use direct drive motors because you would need two motors for each wheel. You'd need a motor for the auger. Toro already knew that that mechanical setup worked fine and they just basically replaced the gas powered motor with this electric one. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. The construction is all steel, just like their regular snow blowers. This part is all aluminum here. I mean, it's obviously got some plastic, but the majority of it, these linkages, they're all made of steel. Got a really heavy duty looking gearbox. That must be cast aluminum. You've got traditional shear pins. The chute is completely made of steel. Even the deflector is steel as well. That's very unusual. This is a 26 inch model. So got an LED headlight can tilt and adjust this so that it lines up wherever you want. It's got a safety key. Of course, you can leave the batteries out if you've got kids and you don't want them messing with it. When you turn it to the on position, you've got your battery meters here. And of course, the third one is blank because I don't have a battery installed. Now, this is the part that might throw you to start it. You turn it one more. Now, you're not really starting the machine in the sense of a gas engine. But remember, I told you this thing is a hybrid. So there really is a pulley and a belt system inside like a regular snowblower turning. It's really quiet. I'm easily able to talk over that. 
Now this machine also has heated grips that are pretty nice, especially where I'm stupid enough to not be wearing gloves. You just hit a switch to turn them on. Running this thing is just like a regular snowblower. You've got a safety here. This engages your auger, and this side would actually control your drive. Now as far as speed control, remember it's not an electric motor, so you still have a lever system, and this adjusts what travel speed the machine's gonna run at, and it's also got reverse. So it operates just like a regular snowblower. Additionally, you can control the chute. This is very unusual. So with this joystick that looks kind of weird, you can go right or left. You can also go forward or backwards, so you can essentially aim the snow wherever you want. I use this today to do those two passes, which easily, those two passes are gonna be a typical two-car driveway. I might have even done a little more than that. Plus the passes behind my workshop, I drove it all around, and our meter showing half power left, which means that I could do double what I did today, maybe a little bit more. And of course, if I threw a third battery and I could go longer, so I would say in a full charge, you would have no problems doing a four car driveway, maybe a six car driveway. I do like the idea of throwing that third battery in there. I think that would help you so that you could do a couple of storms before you needed to recharge it. It's a solid machine. It's all steel. I like the build quality, the machine itself. I think this thing is probably going to do really well. But there is one big negative that people aren't generally going to talk about it, and that is how long is this going to last? If you had a Toro gas snowblower from 40 years ago, it might still work today. With these battery models, you don't really know, but the benefit here is no gas, no oil, no maintenance really. You just turn it on and use it. Now for a lot of people, that is a game changer because maybe they don't want to deal with engines at all. And Toro is a big company, so you're probably making a good decision if you do decide on one of these machines for yourself. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're in the market for a battery powered snowblower, this is definitely one to check out. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.